this is number seven from the green packet. We're trying to minimize a, looks like an area. So a piece of wire 14 inches long is cut into two pieces. So one piece we're going to cut is X. What's the other piece going to be? Yeah. 14 minus X, right? You could call it Y if you want to, but I just would call it 14 minus X, right? Okay. The first piece is bent into a circle. Okay. So this one we're going to bend into a circle and... Um, The second is bent into a square. All right. So tell me, this one's probably the easiest one. What will each length be for these? 14 minus x over what? 4. 14 minus x over 4. Yeah. Each of these will be 14 minus x over 4. 14 minus x over 4. By the way, you could switch these and call it x over 4. That'll work too. Okay, now, here's the tricky part. So this one, the circumference is equal to, what's the formula? Nope, You're, that's the area, 2 pi r. Good. And what are we saying this circumference is equal to? x. Yep going to be equal to x. Good. All right, so express the combined total area of the circle and the square as a function of x. Okay, so we're going to look at the total area. Let's do the square first. What's the area of the square going to be? Minus x over 4 squared. That's the area of the square. Plus, what else do you want to know? Area of the circle. All right. So this is going to be pi r squared, right? But what's r equal to? Yeah, it's equal to x over 2 pi. Unfortunately, it's not a nice clean thing, but it's not that bad x over 2 pi. And that's the circle. And did we do what it told us to do? Or do we have the areas? Do we have just x's? Yeah, we do. So if you wanted to simplify, you could. You're going to get 14 minus x squared over 16 plus pi x squared over 4 pi squared. And that's going to take out this guy. So this, this is going to be my area equation, 14 minus x squared all over 16 plus x squared over 4 pi. That is number seven. Should we do six real quick? That was pretty fast. Let's do six quick. So um, we did eight already. The volume of a right circular cylinder, volume is 12 pi. So 12 pi is equal to one-third pi r squared h. I just got that from the formula. Can I show you real quickly how to find the volume of any cone? Uh, what's the area of a circle? Pi r squared. What's the volume of a cylinder? Times height, right? What's the volume of a cone? One third. One third. Why? Why one third? <laughs> calculus. You can prove it with calculus. We can't prove it yet, but when you take calculus next year, you should be able to prove the volume of a cone is one third. It has to do with the derivative having to do with, or antiderivative, when you cube something, you raise it to 3 and you divide by 3. But anyway, so that's the volume. And uh, got it. Express the height as a function of the radius. So what does that mean? Solve for h. 
Does that make sense? And how many of you are having trouble with these problems? You know what? It's reading. It's hard to read and interpret math from right from you know if I just showed you symbols you're good at that but this this is the tricky part so I'm going to multiply by three so I'm going to go uh, 12 pi times three divided by pi r squared equals h anything cancel pi so it's going to get I get h is 36 over r squared did anybody else get that good. That's good. Now it says express radius as a function. We did that. Express the height. Oh, is that serious? Is that all you do for B? Yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. So all I'm going to do is multiply by 3. So I get 12 pi times 3 equal to pi r squared times h. So now what should I divide both sides by? Pi, yep, and h. Okay, so my answer for this is going to be 36 over h is equal to r squared. So you might want to say that r is 6 over the square root of h. Is that what? Mm -hmm. Pretty similar. 